Right now, the world is changing. We are moving from a world of fossil fuels to one of renewable energy built on sources like sunlight and wind. This transition needs to happen, but there is a problem. These new technologies use a lot of minerals like lithium, nickel, cobalt, copper and rare earth elements. These are called critical minerals or sometimes transition minerals. And these minerals are only going to become more important. For example, lithium, nickel, cobalt are vital for the batteries found in electric vehicles. Rare earth elements are part of the magnets in some wind turbines and electric motors. And copper is used in power transmission lines. Right now, we use a lot of these minerals. But to meet the 2050 net zero emissions targets, we need three and a half times that amount of transition minerals by 2030. That's a lot, and the impacts on particular countries would be huge. For example, nearly 70% of cobalt comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo. 53% of nickel is mined in Indonesia, and 23% of copper is produced in Chile. The question is, what would this rush for transition minerals mean for people living on land around mines? And what impact would this have on the environment? We know we have to switch from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources. But we cannot move from one industry of exploitation and extraction to another. We must move towards a fair and just energy transition that benefits all people and the planet.